Alright, so welcome back to another video. This video is going to be on the new sniper that recently got released called the Huggin. The Hudgen. The Huggin. I, I don't know. I'm just going to call it the Hudgen. Okay, I don't care how to pronounce it. I'm calling it the Hudgen. I'm making a video on this sniper because check this out. The AoE is really strong in this sniper. And also. It's got chain damage. And that's a whole lot of fun when people are in like large clusters. And also the AoE is a lot stronger than the other snipers. For example, take the Call of Sirens. It's got AoE as well and it's a travel time, but look. Wait, what? No, stop! Okay, I think my game is broken. So here you can see me shooting Call of Sirens even closer than when I did shoot the Hudgen, but it did even less damage, showing that the Hudgen's AoE is actually stronger. Alright, now let's use the Hudgen in public matches and see how good it does. Why and how am I choking this right now? You know, the travel time of this sniper is actually really fast, and it makes it pretty usable, and I actually really like that. Also, another thing, I find getting kills with the sniper really satisfying, like, them just getting struck by lightning and disintegrating is just amazing to me. Wow, people are still using Ice Club in 2021? <laughs> Couldn't be me. Ooh! So far from playing with the Hudgen, I realized that the chain damage doesn't actually reach out that far unless people are like really, really close together. It feels like the chain damage on stuff like the double cashback is like a lot better and just reaches out further for whatever reason. But, it's good that the Hudgen has chain damage, because it's better than not having it at all. Oh, he's using the winged bow. I find that a lot of people call that broken and OP and all this, but I really just find it as a triple volley upgrade. I don't think it's that broken or OP in my opinion. And yeah, the 100 mobility is pretty good, but it's just nothing like crazy OP, because it still does have travel time. Oh, and this is what the scope for the Hudgen looks like. It's just the same as the digital drawing pad scope. Oh wow, I actually got him. Wow. If you have headphones, listen to the Hudgen's reload. It sounds amazing with headphones. I love how they buffed the Demo Exo's damage and also decreased the capacity for it. I always felt like it had way too much ammo capacity. When you're fighting someone in close range with this thing, the travel time doesn't even feel that long to be honest. I mean, I guess it makes sense because it's lightning, but then again, this game isn't really that realistic.
So as I said earlier, the hydrant has both input and output delays, so it gives and receives. So I'm actually going to try and play with it with a backup that either has no delay or half delay. I'm going to go with dual anger. Okay, lobby with three minutes left, not bad. Don't you just love gadget setups and armor setups like this? Can we please do something about invisibility? It's the most annoying thing in the entire game. You know, I'd say dying without even getting shot by still clan armor is more annoying, but I mean, at least you can see them. There's two of them! Okay, now we're just dying to Glizzy999. Come on, I know you're one shot. Oh, wait, two shot. Oh, I actually just got played right there. Oh, and another thing I didn't mention, you can actually EO with the sniper, which is unique. How does your spawn protection last that long? Oh wow, I didn't even see him for a second. This last kill? Nope. Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for this video. I don't normally make these types of videos, and I'm pretty new to it, so if I did a good job, just let me know in the comments, and uh, goodbye.